Hey everybody, and welcome to Space Week for Monday, October 14th, 2019. This past week, there were two rocket launches and a spacewalk. On Wednesday, an ILS Proton rocket launched the UTELSAT 5 West B and MEV 1 satellites. UTELSAT 5 West B will replace UTELSAT 5 West A in geostationary orbit, providing digital and television services in France, Italy, and Algeria. MEV-1 is an exciting new satellite servicing vehicle. What it does is dock with another satellite, in this case Intelsat 901, to provide it with propulsion and attitude control functions, extending its service life. Both satellites were built by Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems. The Proton-M rocket with Breeze-M upper stage was built by Khrunichev State Research and Production Space Center in Moscow and sold by International Launch Services, a joint venture between Lockheed Martin Khrunichev, and Energia that's headquartered in Virginia with exclusive rights to the worldwide sale of commercial launches of Angara and Proton rockets. Breeze-M is an interesting orbit insertion twin upper stage design that uses a donut-shaped add-on tank around the engine core that gets jettisoned when the fuel is depleted. Thursday evening, a Northrop Grumman Pegasus XL rocket successfully launched off the coast of Florida with the Ionospheric Connection Explorer satellite, or ICON. ICON was originally supposed to launch in 2017 from Kwajalein Atoll in the Pacific's Marshall Islands, but it was delayed or scrubbed at least 11 times due to issues with the Pegasus XL's avionics, payload and fairing separation systems, and weather. The launch site was moved to Cape Canaveral in 2018. Pegasus XL is an air-launched rocket, released at 40,000 feet by Stargazer, a Lockheed L-1011 TriStar airplane that was built back in 1974 and modified in 1994 to carry Pegasus rockets. On Friday was the second spacewalk in a series of five that will take place during October to replace aging nickel-hydrogen batteries on the ISS with new lithium-ion batteries. NASA astronauts Christina Koch and Andrew Morgan spent about six and a half hours outside the ISS, taking the half-a-refrigerator-sized battery from the Japanese HTV-8 spacecraft's unpressurized logistics carrier and installing it in the space station's P-6 truss. While Koch and Morgan were preparing for their EVA, Mission Control Moscow called to inform the ISS crew that the world's very first spacewalker, Alexei Leonov, had just passed away at age 85. They dedicated their spacewalk to the memory of Leonov. On March 18, 1965, Alexei Leonov ascended to space in a Voskhod 3KD spacecraft with crewmate Pavel Belgayev, exited the inflatable airlock, and performed the first EVA in space history, lasting a whole 12 minutes and 9 seconds. Looking ahead to this week, there's only one launch on the schedule. Today, Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. GMT, a 3D-printed electron rocket by Rocket Lab will carry the Palisade CubeSat tech demo satellite into orbit for Astro Digital. This electron launch is called As the Crow Flies. Then on Wednesday, starting at 6.30 a.m. Eastern, 10.30 GMT, is another spacewalk to replace the space station's batteries, this time with Jessica Meir and Andrew Morgan. The spacewalk and the rocket launch will both be live-streamed here on Raw Space. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and activate notifications if you don't want to miss anything. Discord, merch store, and Patreon links are all in the video description. See you next time.